Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com and with the new Windows Phone 7.5 upgrade uh, we also saw a, an upgrade to the WindowsPhone.com website. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, we'll see some new features in there. Some pretty cool. Let's check it out. So first off, uh, here's the WindowsPhone.com website. We got a little ad but we have some buttons up here and if you signed in these buttons become more useful first up there's marketplace so we can switch that and this is the new web based marketplace you can still do it through Zoom, but this is a pretty nice you don't have to install Zoom, and we can just uh, browse through all sorts of apps available for Windows Phone you can easily buy it uh, you can see uh, some screenshots you can see the reviews and if you already own one of these you can actually make a review right here so that's pretty nice and it, we, we can send a link straight to your phone for easy download now here's the other one my phone is a good one so if I switch to that this is what you get in the my phone section so there's the phone uh, you can click that to show other phones if you own more than one here's our pictures those are uh, automatically uploaded to SkyDrive if you have that feature turned on. There's the location of your phone if you have that feature turned on as well. You can uh, rent it, lock it, uh, same features as before. But here's a new one. See your recent check-ins. So if I switch to this window, this is what you get when I click on that. It's a nice beam map and it's called scrapbook so here's the settings I'll just show you that if I clicked it correctly there we can delete the history so this is keeping track of all this all the check-ins that I might have done with the Windows Phone Mango from my Metal. so there's a check-in and this will post to Facebook and Windows Live if I choose it and since my Windows Live ID is connected to my Facebook account it can remember these check-ins as well so if I click on one there we are that's uh, where I was on October 1st at 1.46 p.m. nice uh, restaurant and we can zoom and there's the, your normal Bing stuff and some zoom buttons but we have multi-touch and I can go to the previous one there's another check-in there's another one with a picture so pretty nice little uh, scrapbook of places that you checked in pretty cool now another thing we got pictures so this is pretty nice you can really easily see pictures from your phone and we can fade through to them all pretty neat and I will show you this you got links to office so if I go there I can see all the documents it switches over to SkyDrive so I can see all the documents that are going to show up in my Office Hub. So there's SkyDrive and here they are. See the same files. So easy access both of those. We can also edit stuff on your phone on the website. So this is a OneNote notebook and we can see all that information it's like a pretty close to full OneNote application actually it's missing a lot of features but still very usable so you have easy access to those both on the phone and on the web and what else we have we got Xbox Live I can see achievements play games Really, it should say play game because there's only one here. This is the 
two-player chess game. You can play it on the browser against the phone, against somebody else, either using the phone or using the browser, and you can switch between uh, taking turns on the web or on the phone. And we can do customize. This is going to log me into Xbox Live. It's going to load some Silverlight application stuff. And then from here, I can customize my Xbox Live gamer avatar. So let's try. I think I want. Now it's loading still. You can switch to a different prop. And I'll save that. And now he's going to have that prop on my phone and on Xbox. So that's pretty nice. And finally, we have uh, quick access to your contacts, your calendar, as well as your to-dos if you have a Mango device. And the inbox. This is just the Windows Live account. If you have an Exchange or a Gmail account, those are not going to show up here, but you can access those from gmail.com or whatever. And at the bottom, we have uh, some little ads. You get your Zoom Pass, so that'll tell you how to get unlimited music on your phone and uh, also a suggestion to install Zoom so you can sync other stuff. So that's the new WindowsPhone.com uh, website. Some uh, cool additions, good uh, useful features for interacting with your Windows Phone. That's it for now.